from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Are you high? What? No, I'm not high. What? You are high as a kite. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. Together again on the radio, this from the Associated Press. A Google-backed startup that analyzes customers' genetic makeup to predict health risks and provide ancestry information has slashed the price on its personal DNA test, the company announced today. The decision by 23andMe Incorporated to cut the price of its test from $999 to $399 could herald a price war in the small but buzz-heavy marketplace for direct-to-consumer genetic testing. The company's main competitors charge anywhere from just under $1,000 to $2,500 for similar services. According to 23andMe, next-generation DNA analysis chips have made the process of scanning a person's genes significantly cheaper. By cutting the price of its service, the company hopes to increase demand and hasten the day when a full genetic screening becomes routine medical practice, said 23andMe co-founder Ann Wojcicki. The mission of the company has always been to enable anyone to be able to get access to their genetic information, Wojcicki said. We really believe strongly that at some point everyone who's born will be genotyped. You'll have your information and you'll use that to help guide some of your health care decisions. Wow. Look at that. So um, now a price war in the DNA testing business. Wow. As you know, I've been telling you boys to go out and get that DNA test. Make sure you get it. Hopefully uh, you have gotten it if you have a child. And I don't even care whether you have doubts about whether the child is yours. I am hoping you've done this. Because uh, women are scandalous. They're just scandalous. Uh, Today they're worse than ever. I am now reading statistics that say that women are as likely to cheat as men. And in some stories, in some studies, I've read that women are more likely to cheat than men. You could very well be paying child support on some other guy's kid. You need to get a DNA test. You need to. And hopefully uh, you've already done it. Don't ever take a woman's word for it. Don't ever take her word for it uh, that she has uh, only been with you. That the kid is, of course, yours. I don't uh, believe the crying, the sobbing, the the protestations of, I can't believe you would think something like that. I can't believe you would have killed me or nothing like that. I can't believe. Don't pay any attention to it. Get a DNA test. Get the DNA test. Whether you're married or not married, when some woman comes to you and says, you're a father... Don't accept her word for it. Get the DNA test. Don't wait. You've got a limited amount of time to respond uh, when they tell you you're a father. 
If you ever get a letter in the mail from Child Protective Services or from an attorney saying that you're a father, don't ignore it, don't throw it away, don't pretend it never happened. Take that letter to an attorney immediately. And don't pay one penny of child support until you've got DNA evidence that that kid is yours. Don't sign any pieces of paper in the hospital. They love getting you to sign when you're in the hospital. Could you sign this? Could you sign this? Uh, you know, you're the father of the child. Could you sign this? Don't sign anything. Don't do it. Get a DNA test. Demand proof. Demand it. How many of you have gotten that DNA test? Raise your hands. How many? How many of you were shocked at the results? How many of you got results that said you are the father and you felt good? Because at least you knew. At least now you know. I want to know how many of you have gone out and gotten the DNA test. I've been telling you to do it. How many of you have actually done it? What were the results? How did you feel about the results? How did she react to the results? If you have gotten a DNA test ever since I recommended it on the air, if you went out and got a DNA test to see if the kid is yours, if you've gotten the results and you were shocked or you were pleased or you made her cry, boo-hoo-hoo, I can't believe you didn't trust me, I want to hear the story right now. 1-800-5800-TOM 1-800-5800-866 So you don't believe that marriage could be happy? You don't believe that it could bring people happiness? I think there's people who uh, jump from an airplane and uh, they're happy. At least till they hit the ground. <laughs> Feels like you're flying. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like a show at one 800 800 tom Have you gotten a DNA test? We told you to do it. Have you done it? Angel on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, oh, Tom. Yeah. How are you? Great. Uh, here's my situation. I'm 21 years old. I'm uh, currently living with my girlfriend who I have a baby with. Uh, why, why did you do those two things? Um, it was before I even started listening to you, honestly. But uh, every day yeah, I mean, wait, So it. you're saying if you had been a listener, you wouldn't have done those things? Well, I don't know. <laughs> of course not. Why but, did uh, you do them? Um, I was pretty much young and dumb. I I, I don't know, honestly. But um, everything was good. I mean... Until recently, how I, I, I caught my uh, my girlfriend cheating, cheating on me. Um, she went to did. a party. She went to a party um, at, uh, with one of her uh, coworkers. You know, I trusted her, and uh, I, I would have never thought that she would have done it. But um, why would you never I, think that? Because uh, just because of the way she was. I mean, I don't know. I just I never thought she would. Well, no, no, you didn't know how she was. Because you were too immature to understand how she was. That, that's true. But, um, I mean, I'm really thinking about getting the DNA test, and I, like, like you said. I mean, I uh, caught her cheating on me, and the thing was, she lied, she lied to me about it. I had to actually go and find out. I took her, her phone from her, and I started text messaging her friends from the, from the other night, and they told me everything that she did. She made out with two other guys. She was dancing with them, drinking, and you know, it really. Right now, I'm in a in a weird place, and I don't know what to do. Leave her or what to do? But has she had that kid? Yeah. How old is it? Right now, he's 11 months. Well, now's the time to find out because I think after a year, I think your chances of uh, successfully filing a claim or successfully bailing out a child support are gone. Yeah, you might. I mean, the now, kid looks now like is me the time. and everything, but... Well, maybe she likes to uh, bang other guys who look like you. Maybe you're her type. <laughs> Probably. But, uh, so what would you advise me to do? 
you should not have a girlfriend. You should have a DNA test. Do you pay child support? No, we, we actually live together. Uh, did you sign the birth certificate? Yeah, I did. Why did you do that? Uh, I mean, I was, I was, I thought I was the only one doing it at the time. You thought what? I thought I, I was the only one getting with that. So. <laughs> but the point is, why would you sign that without having proof? I don't know. I was, I don't know. I was pretty dumb. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, should I, should I leave her or should I just give her another chance or? Well, your first thing is you should be getting a DNA test. Okay. Like immediately. Okay. And do you know how to do that? No, I don't. All right. Well, yeah, you can Google it online. DNA test, Los Angeles, put it in there. A bunch of places are going to pop up. Okay. And You're going to go if, to one of them. It's going to cost if, you some money, a couple of hundred bucks at least. What if it turns out that he is mine? Well, all right, then at least you'll know, and you'll know that when you leave, you'll be paying child support, which, you know, most people are, are forced to pay child support. That's the way it works. And as far as uh, the girlfriend is loser, or? Uh, wh no. Why would you want to be with somebody like that? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Tell me, what possible reason could there be for wanting to be with somebody like that? You're right. You're right. Use, I should just use this opportunity to pretty much get rid of it, right? Not until you get the DNA test. Okay. All right, Tom. Thanks a lot. And uh, if I were you, I know you'll be too cheap to do it. You really should do it in conjunction with an attorney. If you find out the kid is not yours, you should get an attorney. Okay. And pay him. I will. All right. All right, Tom. Uh, Good luck. Can you take me out movie style? Kobe style, here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. 1-800-5800-TOM, oh. that's our telephone number. Had you gotten the DNA test? I told you guys to do it. Have you done it? David on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, David. How are you doing today, Tom? Great. I just want to say that I am a Likers 101 listener, and I did. Uh, I was dating this girl for about six months. Uh, she called me up, told me one day she was pregnant. So I had my suspicions, you know, I knew that she wasn't all that faithful. So I just played it off. I waited. She didn't go for the Hail Mary. So I waited up, and I played it off, and the day of the baby was born... Went to the hospital, you know, she was there, and, and you're right. By the way, they want you to sign these papers. And I told him, you know what, uh, no, I ain't signing anything until I get a DNA test. So I went down, I took it, came back, I was not the father. Oh, how did she react to that? She was she was astounded. She goes, I've never, I go, it's proof. What do you mean? You've never cheated on me. It's right there. There's no way, there's no possible way I can be the father. And I told her, I go, you know what? And that's it. I'm here. I'm out. DTB. I go, I've never looked back after that. <laughs> you know, so I'm telling you, I'm telling the guys out there, you know what? Do what Tom says. She tells you she's pregnant. You take the test before you do anything else. Do not because sign that paperwork. Do not sign anything. No way. Hey, those 869 bucks I spent was a lot less than I would have of 18 years of child support. Did she try calling you after that? She tried, but it was, um, I never, she tried texting me, um, I see the text is erased, I didn't even bother reading them. Hey, you know, hey, and she still tried to swear to me, it's not, it's not true, I never cheated on you. I have, I still have the paperwork, Tom. I still have the paperwork saying me, I am not the father. I love it. <laughs> All right, Tom, nice talking to you. Take me out with a bong hit and uh, thank you, Jesus. Here you go, David. Jesus. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Ryan on the Tom Likas show. Hello, hello, Dad. Hello, son. Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you so much. Anyways, Daddy, uh, I had a I had a situation that happened to me, and I uh, I mailed a I checked online, dude. Actually, 
It's only 100 bucks. They mail it to you. It's uh, two cotton swabs, one for the father, one for the child. It's very discreet. The mother doesn't need to know. You mail it back to them, free postage. Uh, it was only, only cost me $100, and it's uh, pretty accurate. Wow. So you did it? Sir, uh, unfortunately, I turned out to be the father, but uh, it was a 99.8-something uh, percent and all that. So, Well, uh, do you feel better that now that you know for sure? Yeah, I mean, the situation, it was kind of horrible, but you know what? It's peace of mind. A hundred bucks for peace of mind is definitely worth it. So yeah, I, I mean, even if you end up being I mean, the father, wouldn't you rather know for sure than to be paying some scandalous bitch who was out doing who knows who? Oh, you're a hundred percent right on that. Of course, of course, man. I mean, anyone out there's only a hundred bucks. It's very affordable. I mean, it's right. You just click it on online, Google it, uh, um, at home, um, uh, paternity test, something like that. And the couple sites pop up. It's all FDA insured. It's all legit. So, uh, but peace of mind is definitely worth it. Thank you for that, Ryan. I appreciate the call. Thank you, Dad. All right, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's go to Robin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Okay, Robin. That's good. I just wanted to weigh in on the female perspective here because, you know, I have a little brother. He's 25. He was, if you want to call it dating, this so-called chick who, you know, she was a stripper. She was into drugs. We, we knew that. You know, she was out seeing different guys, and she came up pregnant, and she was like, oh, it's yours, you need to stand up, you need to be a man, blah, blah, blah. We were like, okay, go take a blood test. And if it's his, you know, we'll do what we got to do. So he goes down there, and he takes his blood sample, but she never takes the baby. And then, you know, for the next year or so, she's like throwing eggs at his car, got his mom calling, talking about, Oh, we're going to take your dad to court. And my dad is like, I'm the grandfather. I'm I'm not the dad. You guys got it twisted. But all these chicks out there, they just want to get money from these guys. They see somebody who lives in a nice house, drives a nice car, and, you know, they want to pimp them for their money, and it's wrong. And I've always told him, you know, yeah, you're going to be out there doing whatever because you're a young man, but either strap up. Or get a blood test when it comes back on you, because I'm not taking care of nothing that doesn't belong in the family. So all those chicks out there that want to play those little games, yes, there are mothers, sisters, friends, wives, whatever you want to call us out there that are telling our sons and brothers, go get a DNA test. We don't believe in this little, oh, yeah, it might be my baby crap. Okay, Tom? Absolutely, Rob. All right, so take me out, Lacey Peterson style. Uh, that would be tasteless. Emmer. Hey. Emmer. Emmer, make your feet in. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Antonio on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Antonio. How are you doing today? Do you care? Of course I care. I am a long-time listener, first-time caller. My Love dad it. turned me turned me on to the show when I was about 14. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I was really young. I guess he wanted to pass on what little he knew onto what hopefully would benefit me, and believe me, it has. Excellent. Um, I had a question regarding the paperwork you're talking about not ever signing the paperwork until you have a blood test or a, a dna test should i say right right one or the other or both and excuse me i am kind of, i said one or the other or both blood test dna test whatever it takes no uh, well what exactly happens if you do or if you don't well, keep in mind, I'm not an attorney, so I'm only going to be speaking uh, from third-hand uh, knowledge that uh, people have given me. They've told me. But I have heard people say, and it could be that it's another state, and it's not California, and I don't know which state it might be. It could be, uh, put it this way, you sign that piece of paper, and then that's it. It doesn't even matter if you get a DNA test. You've already signed. Therefore, you're the parent. That's that. Wow. Really? Why would you? Why would you want to sign that piece of paper? 
I have no idea. <laughs> well, then don't. Uh, not like I ever, you know, am in a position to even have to think about that. But why would you I, sign I'm, any? Why would you sign any piece of paper that your attorney hasn't seen? No idea. Uh, probably old-fashioned thinking, I guess that all girls are faithful, and quite frankly, they're all not that way. I, would, I don't want to curse on it. I know you have a zero tolerance, tolerance policy, so I'll just stay right there. But uh, thank you for the for taking my call, and can you take me out with uh, Kobe and uh, Snoop Dogg? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Byron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Byron. That's good. Yeah. So um, I have a little story for you. <clears throat> I was dating this girl one time. I and I knew she was a uh, a slut, by the way. And um, she tried to trick me. She told me she had gotten pregnant, but um, the whole time we were fooling around. I noticed that a couple, you know, I kind of messed, I kind of fooled around with her because we didn't have anywhere to have sex. So I kind of, you know, held her on until we were able to have sex. When we finally had sex, um, she told me she got, she was pregnant. But I remember the whole time we used to fool around. I was, I was you know, when you fool around with a girl for quite some time, you notice sometimes she's on her period, sometimes she's not. But I noticed she never did get her period, right? And this is before I even had sex with her. But when I finally had sex with her, she told me she, told me she was pregnant. And, um, uh, so I told her to have an abortion. She agreed with me, but uh, I never heard from her again. And then she called my mother up nine months later. She told my mom that she had a baby boy and it was mine. Hello? And dragged your mom into it. Okay. Yeah. So, so oh, she, she brought my mom into it. And then we haven't heard from this girl for nine months. So to tell you the truth, I was getting a little up there in age. I was kind of happy, but I kind of had doubt that this baby was mine. Um, so to make a long story short, um, she started giving us problems and, you know, picking up the baby and stuff like that. So she disappeared on us. She ended up disappearing. And then I get a letter in the mail from the county that they said I owe child support because she had started getting county for the baby. And, uh, the, by this time the baby was about nine years old and, uh, you know, so they, they asked me if I, if, if I didn't believe that the baby was mine, I needed to get a DNA test. So I got a DNA test. And uh, <laughs> the baby wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the you... but Tom, listen to this. The cool thing about it, she never, ever told her family that the baby wasn't mine to this day. <laughs> they think I'm a deadbeat dad. She called your mom. Maybe uh, to turn about being fair play. Maybe you need to call her dad, her mom. Uh, guess what? Her mom did the same thing to her. Her mom, well, didn't tell her, her mom didn't tell her that her, 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 the father that she thought was her father wasn't her real dad until she was 16. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. Right. All right, Tom, take me out, Snoop Dogg, man. All right, Byron, here you go. Right, thank you. Bitch. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number on the Tom Like a Show. Coming up on half past the hour on the Tom Like a Show, and we continue with your telephone calls here at 1-800-5800-TOM. We're asking you if you ever got that DNA test. I told you, never take the word of abroad. Always go in and get the DNA test. Did you get it? Did you get it? Let's say hello to Raymond on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing today? I'm Okay. Great, great. Hey, Tom, I just went through that nightmare uh, about a year ago, actually. Uh, what happened was I uh, dated a girl, and she uh, ended up, I broke up with her. A week later, she said she was pregnant, uh, ended up wanting to have a baby. Uh, we had the baby uh, at the hospital. I wasn't sure to sign or not sign. Did not do a DNA test. So after we signed, uh, read the back of the paper, called my friend up, and he was an actual lawyer. And he said, go ahead and sign, get that done. If you want to cause any problems or any commotions at the hospital, go ahead and just sign the paper, and we'll work it out at the end. So we signed the paper. I read the back of the paper of the birth kit. You have up to two years to refute that signature and, and take a DNA test if it's your baby. So, Interesting. 
it happened to be my baby, and it's a blessing, you know. You know, I know a lot of guys don't like it or whatever the case is, but for me it worked out, you know. And today, you know, I don't pay child support. Just have the baby a lot, and things are working out for me. You but don't pay child support. Why? Uh, she doesn't want to go to court. She's uh, one of those girls who step up and to the plate and say, you know, it's half my responsibility, half your responsibility. I help out uh, birthdays, hospital bills, everything else. You split everything directly in half. And you run this past your attorney? Yes, I ran past my attorney. I keep, I, obviously, I keep all my receipts and everything I pay for, checks, everything. I pay everything in checks. Don't ever, guys, don't ever pay nothing in cash because you're never going to get track of it. And she's not going to write a receipt for you either. Yep, and then they can come back later and say you never paid them anything. Exactly. So, you know, I'm paying child support on my first three. I'm 41 years old, so I'm paying child support on the first three. I have one more left to just start high school, freshman in high school. So it's a so we, long road, guys. Were you ever married to any of these women? Uh, yes, I was married to the first one. The first one I was married for, uh, actually, I got, uh, we got pregnant in college. Uh, actually, I gave up a football scholarship. And no, we had, no, no, we no, no, we didn't get pregnant. She got pregnant. She, uh, you're right. She got pregnant. We uh, ended up uh, getting married. Doing the I so thought it was the honorable thing. Uh, it happened to be the real stupid thing, you guys. You guys just have to. If you guys are gonna get married? Pick the right person. Jeez, you know, and make sure she could cook. Better to not get married at all. You're, uh, hey, you know what? For some people, that that's right. If you are going to marry, you better, you better double check, triple check, and make sure she's the right one. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, but it's very easy. I took the uh, like the caller earlier said he took it online. Uh, just called him up, had the baby swap, uh, just cotton swaps. You know, just uh, mailed it back to the place. Called back. I was ninety eight point six four four three two one something like that probability that it was mine. So you know, I I said that uh, that's close enough for me. So. Yeah. Take the test. It's a lot easier. Hundred bucks isn't you know, hundred bucks isn't much compared to the rest of eighteen years. Believe me, and it's very easy. Don't be so. A lot of these guys that call up, I just can't believe how stupid they are. Guys, use your head. It's very easy. Stuff is very easy to get out of. And you know, I'm forty one. I'm a little bit more mature than a lot of the callers, but still, it's very easy. Use your brain. God, makes sense to me, Raymond. Thank you. Hey, thanks a lot, Tom. Appreciate the call. Here's Jason on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, it's great to be uh, on with you, man. I am absolutely an avid listener, and uh, I admire you a lot. I agree with just about everything you say. Um, the media is definitely anti-man, and I think you get, you uh, bring a, a, a good counterbalance to that. Um, anyway, I, I have a question for you. Uh you have, I've heard you say on the air before that you consider yourself uh, a libertarian, which I do yeah. as well. Um, but I've also heard you say that you feel that uh, it would be a good thing if the government mandated DNA tests um, <clears throat> for every child. Uh, as long as the government is in the business of mandating child support and in divorce cases mandating custody... Uh, I believe that uh, mandating DNA testing should go hand in hand. Well, I, I agree with you. I, I absolutely agree that I think... I that believe the government should not be able to take money from you unless you ha unless they have got hardcore proof that you are the father. I completely agree. I completely so, I mean, agree. if they... If, look, if, the they were not in, if they were not in that business, as a libertarian... Uh, I would not want the government having DNA uh, on me, but if the government and it reserves the right to tell me I have to pay money to somebody else, Absolutely. then then I think as the as the uh, injured party, I have a right to know what what is the meaning of this and uh, what gives the government the right to take my money. I I agree. Uh, I think especially if the government can can and I think in certain states, I'm not sure if in every state, if they can make it mandatory that you take a blood test to prove that you are not related before you get married, then you, you want to be able to, it, it's not a far stretch from uh, tacking a DNA test onto that for when a child is born. I agree with that completely. Um, I just, I consider myself leaning towards the, uh, the libertarian uh, political uh, affiliation, but not completely, because I think those two ideas conflict. Uh, but don't you think 
would you think that it's, it's maybe more important to reform or to change the the laws about about child support than it is to just mandate a DNA test? Well, I think it's a stopgap measure for sure, but it, you know, what are we going to do? Live with it the way it is? Yeah. I, I hear you. I think that guys are getting so screwed. Guy, guys, guys are getting screwed from coast to coast. They're getting they screwed in divorce court. And dish out thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars as long as they don't have to do it. So they're perfectly willing to let an innocent man be hanged, so to speak. I think. Uh, the that, former, the former district attorney of Los Angeles County, Gil Garcetti, said as much. Uh, the Los Angeles Times asked him point blank, you know, in some of these cases, you're collecting money from the wrong guy, somebody with the same name or a different middle initial or right. somebody with a similar social security number. And he said point blank, well, we don't care. Our, what's important to us is getting the money. Right. And that's, uh, that's disgusting. What it does, I mean, you know, not not to get off topic here. First of all, I'm I'm, I'm glad that you uh, brought up. Is it is it 23 and me or 23 in I and me? And and me. Okay, so I'm going to check into that. I think that's something I actually want to I want to uh, uh, look into, especially now that it's that it's so affordable. So I appreciate you bringing up this topic. And not to get too far off base, but but I mean the the, the problem. It's all related. The problem with all of our, almost all of our, uh, our financial problems and our crime problems and our education problems, it can all be traced back to people who can't afford having kids having kids. Because then it becomes the state's responsibility to take care of them and the government's responsibility, which means it's the taxpayer's responsibility, and it's turning America into a goddamn welfare state. We are, we are, we are, we put the bill for about 50% of all uh, citizens medical bills and we put the bill for pub I mean public education it costs what about four or five thousand dollars a year by the way consider this you may not school. like the idea that the government has DNA tests or DNA records on file but think about this how many less unwanted births would take place if those scandalous whores knew that when they have that baby, there's a mandatory DNA test. They can't just finger the richest guy they had sex with. Absolutely. There's a mandatory DNA test, and nobody will have one dime taken from them without that mandatory test. And you see, what, what, what opponents to that idea say is that, no, there'll still be all sorts of Ill illegitimate children uh, being born and children being born out of wedlock that, uh, there'll still be a lot of women cheating on men essentially and having these babies with uh, a different man and the, the babies, the kids will end up the victim regardless. So they'll say that the kids well, will end I, up. Well, I think there will be a lot less children born, a lot less unwanted children born if women knew they couldn't just go eeny, meeny, miny, mo and pick the father of their child. I, I couldn't agree with you more. I could not agree with you more. Uh, I think that's the that's the number one problem that that we face is all these. You know, I've heard you say it before. Statistics that that the less money you have, the more children you have. Statistically, and yes. I've looked into that, and it's true. It's absolutely true. I think that's disgusting. Not that money. Not that money. Uh, makes a person happier that you need money to love somebody, but you need money to raise a child, especially if you're going to have three or four of them and you're living in a goddamn one-bedroom apartment. You can't send that kid to the school or the extracurriculars that he or she deserves. And these these people that don't have money, they keep on having children. So that's the number one problem. That is the problem. That causes all the, you know, you know neighborhoods, the, the, the more fatherless households there are in a neighborhood, the more likely there is to be violent crime in that neighborhood. You know, and and all all these people having babies that they can't afford emotionally and financially. Tom, I couldn't agree with you more. I don't want to take too much time away from you. I think that you are absolutely providing not only entertainment. I mean, first and foremost, entertainment, but public service to people, especially as a, in, a, in, a, in a media that is just in in anti-mill uh, sentiment and 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 uh, I think that you bring a fresh perspective and I think you're actually important uh, to to the hearts and souls of of your listeners. So I thank you very much and uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Okay. 
Thank you, Jason, for that. I appreciate the call. I really do. My question this hour, I told you guys, do not sign any paperwork. Do not pay any child support until you've gotten a DNA test. And I told the guys, if you haven't already gotten one, go out tonight and get one. Did you follow my advice? Have you ever gotten a DNA test? And what were the results? How did that turn out? Tom Likas. Like 1-800-5800-TOM. Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Guys don't need to be in relationships. They don't. Some guys do. Some guys do. Yeah. Blind guys. <laughs> you know, I imagine Stevie Wonder needs someone to dress him every day. I understand. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I told you guys get a DNA test. Did you get it? Greg on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Heard the show. Actually, uh, my girlfriend and I were... Uh... My husband just came back from dinner, and uh, she said, you know what, you should call. And she's a religious uh, listener as well. Uh, about seven years ago, I was with a girl for about five years. So at that five-year point, having some issues, things like that, she's trying to keep me from uh, continuing in college because I wasn't I was studying too much. I wasn't paying enough attention to her. Uh, I think kind of got into a little bit of a rift, and uh, she had a trade show to go to. I guess she got banged up by some random dude and uh got pregnant never told me we got i didn't think anything of it she had a kid um about nine months old found out uh somebody told me you know it doesn't look like you you should get a dna kept denying it denying it i didn't want to spend the money it was at that time i paid about eight hundred dollars uh was a lot of money but i said screw it let's do it did it <laughs> paperwork came back that's the first time i ever fainted and it was the best feeling my whole entire life Best money you ever spent. Heck yeah. Would do it again, and I tell everybody out there, if they're just thinking about it, just remote, just think 1%, do it. Peace of mind. And the crazy thing is, about six months, eight months later, cousin had the same thing happen to him, and I told him the same thing. He did it, and it wasn't his, so it happens, and it happens a lot. So all the guys out there, do whatever you need to do to get the money, borrow it, but just it's peace of mind, and uh, you get it off. Get it off your mind. Uh, I had a question for you, though. Wait, but before I, we get to the question, how did she react when when the DNA results came back? I was like, it was like watching a soap opera. She didn't know, and oh my god! And then you realize, you know, looking at her, she knew. She knew damn well what the hell she did. The filthy bitch. You know what how, are you gonna do? How did you find out what she actually did, or when she did it? Well. One more time. I'm sorry, Tom. How did you find out when she did what she did or what she did? How, how did you find out? It was at that, you know, when the kid was nine months old and I, I, I kind of, she, when I got that paperwork, I asked her and grilled her for about 10 minutes. And, you know, she kind of let up and said it was this guy that you kind of know. He was a, he's a skate judge at competitions and it was just a nightmare. And, you know, I had ideas, but I never thought, you know, it would get to that. But, and she wanted you to stay with her? Of course, because I was with her for five years. She knew my family. She knew that, you know, I was going places. You know, she tried to hold me back. And, you know, I have no, she knew I had no debt. I pay everything cash. You know, I'm well established. And uh, this, this is how women are. They leech on to whoever they feel can best support them and their uh, illegitimate little kids. Wow. So did you dump her at that point? Oh, hell yes. I dumped her and then said, you know, I went back to, I was so close. I mean, so close, Tom, to dropping out of school. Uh, I had one, one of my closest homies, George, he just told me, you know, we're going to the same program in business administration. He said, just, just, just stay with it, man. You know, you can get through it. And I'm glad I did. And right after that, I, uh, went to Peru, had some fun down there and, uh, just didn't look back, you know? I love that. Yeah, but I had a question about signing papers. Uh, I signed the papers because, you know, at the time I was only 22, and I thought, okay, it's probably mine. I signed a paper, but I have the paperwork showing that it's, you know, 
three or seven percent, not mine. Uh, and she told me that, oh, you know, even if the courts do come after you, I'm not going to stick you. But I, that's a bunch of crap. If she'd actually do that or not. But I'm trying to figure out if I'm still protected or what well, that's that's a question you need to take up with an attorney. And I hope you will. Oh, yeah. I've been, you know, it's been for years now. I'm saying, hey, have you got the paperwork finalized? And she's always oh, been waiting on the lawyer. So now it's time where I'm coming into some money. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go after her ass and make sure, get my own lawyer. Make well, sure you, you know. need to get your own lawyer. You cannot depend on her because uh, her lawyer and she will concoct whatever scheme they can concoct. You, you have to be prepared. Yeah, I hear that. Well... I, I love the show. I mean, I wish I would have listened to the show, you know, back in the day. But, you know, I've been three years strong now. And everything. every time I listen, I hear these guys on the air. And I just think sad pieces of crap out there. I just don't get it together and just know that, you know, they don't need a girl to to really define who it is they are. You know, just be yourself. Do whatever you need to do and handle your business and get an edu education, you know. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Start making your own money and don't let any take yours. I tell the guys this all the time. I have time quickly for one more call from Travis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay, Travis. Man, you are correct on getting paternity tests every time you think it's not yours. My ex-wife screwed me over for three years. I was paying child support on two kids that were not mine. I went to Unbelievable. court. I went to court. I got custody of all three kids. She came back a month later and said, "Hey, the oldest kid is not yours." I said, "Paternity test on all three." It came back two of them weren't mine. Unbelievable. Thank you, Travis. The Tom Likas Show.